Hi, Entertainment Tonight, it's Kathy Hilton, and I have the pleasure to interview my sister, Kyle Akadugi. Well, now I'm gonna have to tell everybody what Rick calls you, Poodle. Poodle, <laughs> there you go, that's what you get. Sherry Doogie. Kathy will say, I'm gonna tell you one thing, I was talking to, you know, <laughs> and I was like, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I thought to myself, you know what I'm saying? So after asking you many, many times, what made you finally decide to say yes and cave and do The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? I think you being so persistent and between getting calls from the producer and you back and forth and back and forth, uh, it really does prove, with me at least, if you push and push and push, you finally win me. You get oh, me. Oh, noted. Good to know. Okay. All we have to do is be pushy with you and get what Just we want. Just be pushy. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. How much do you love me? <laughs> is that a real question? <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> okay. A lot. How do you think I fit in with this group of women? I think you fit in perfectly. It's so funny because, you know, you already had a relationship with some of the women, but you got to come in and avoid, you know, all the drama. I mean, you were there for the drama, but right. it, it was interesting to me to see you come in and be like, oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I love this. What's all the stress for, ladies? I'm, this is so much fun. Right. How Wait, I thought you? you were Kyle. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Like, I get that all the time. With this mouth, with the hair, and I'm thinking all she the... really has it all out there. I mean, a lot of people would not say it's fun. Well, you Just know saying. me, I know how to tune things out. So who gave better advice before joining the show? Kim or me? Yeah. Don't you love the sister question? <laughs> I think that I really wasn't gonna listen to too much of your advice because it was only gonna be positive. So... Not necessary. I did call Kim, she was my first call. First of all, I wanted to let her know that I was considering and she said to me, I said, what do you think? She goes, I think it's great, I think you should do it but don't lose your temper. Yeah, I mean, we all do though. Right? <laughs> like, do you want to invest in our friendship like this? I think I have. <laughs> then don't ever talk to me like that again. What surprised you the most about my first season as an official cast member on the show? How comfortable you were. You know, in the past, I didn't think you were comfortable in front of the cameras, but this time, it really felt like you didn't even think about them. No, I didn't. You were so, I mean, to see you coming out, you know, in your pajamas and me coming in while you're in bed, you didn't even care. You were just like, I'm fine, I'm comfortable with all of this. So that really surprised me. Really? Yeah. Well, I think because we're sisters too, it really it was like just a girl's trip. You know, you were just thinking of it like that, you know, which it is, but there are cameras there, so. I'm, I'm used things. to that, though. I kind of forget about that. Um, especially if I don't have to memorize lines. <laughs> 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 Who did you think that I would get along with or butt heads with? I didn't Or think... go head to head with, I should say. I really didn't think you were going to butt heads with anyone. I mean, maybe some could get on your nerves, perhaps. <laughs> One, one did. Uh, yeah. But I really like her. Well, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull an Andy Cohen and ask you, who got on your nerves the most? Uh, you're not Andy Cohen. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh no, Darn I better it. not say Darn. that. No, I would never say. I would never say. And let's put it this way. If it happens again, you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that. <laughs> I put some drops, and I thought they were eye drops, and I put ear drops in my eyes. <gasps> Are you serious? Okay, so you have quickly become a fan favorite. Did you think that people were gonna see how funny you were so quickly? Honestly, do you want the truth? I always want the truth. Ooh, okay. Because really the things that I thought were funny and really fabulous, they were not used on the show. Mm. I didn't think that what I, anything really was that funny, so. Well, the thing is you are so funny when you are trying to be funny, but when you are not trying to be funny is when you're actually hilarious, when you're just being you, which I know that you don't get that and see that, but just like the littlest things, like not being able to plug in the fan. <laughs> that was a very funny meme. Kathy. It 
The fan plugs in, you just have to actually put it in the outlet. What has been the best part of getting to spend more time with me? Just how much we laugh. I mean, you know, we have the same sense of humor. Yours is a little more naughty, mine's a little more... I mean, when I look at the show and I see us laughing, I can't stop laughing watching it because it's just, it's like contagious. Just make me, I mean, we've always been like that. But you're used to seeing yourself naturally the way you are every day for 10 years on TV. 11. For me, mm -hmm. I have never seen myself. It's like watching home videos. Right. Laughing in hysterics like that and kicking my foot. I mean, <laughs> I have to tell you, I didn't realize that I was doing that when I watch the videos, I go, I laugh and I watch them over and over. A lot of people have been wanting to see the three of us sisters together. Would you be interested in doing a Richard sister, some kind of show together with you, Kim, and me? Absolutely. Can you imagine? The I think that's a plan. <laughs> Things could go south pretty fast. You never know. <laughs> go! Yay! 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 I'm here. This season is about to heat up with Tom and Erica's divorce. Ladies, I truly consider you my close friends, and this is why I'm reaching out to tell you that I filed for divorce this morning. Thank you for supporting me. This will be tough. How shocked were you to get that text from Erica? I, I was very shocked because we had just been with her in Lake Tahoe and it seemed like everything was fine. So getting that text, I mean, I was, I was really, really shocked and blown away by that. It just seemed so out of left field, just because it wasn't like a buildup and you thought, okay, right. it's coming soon, you know? So I think that's what surprised me the most, just that and there was she, no And she hint. did seem to be a little reserved, yet I don't know her that well. That was really like my third time being around her. Well, see, she's always, you know, not necessarily, I mean, she can be reserved, but she can also be fun. But, you know, she definitely has a little wall around her. Right. So, but it still shocked me anyway. So, obviously, you are the party planner extraordinaire. So, we're going to have to talk about Paris's wedding. What is going on with Paris's wedding? What are you planning? Give us the 411. Okay, she is, she, I have to talk with her. I, I laugh and say, um, Paris wouldn't care if there were, you know, white teddy bears and unicorns and balloons on the ceiling. She's not what you would think, as you know. Right. She's not that bridezilla type. She would be very happy with a petting zoo and hamburgers and hot dogs. How many people do you think are going to be at this wedding? You know, we just have to see, and I think it's better to have a smaller amount than a huge, huge group so you really can enjoy it. I agree. I know, but good luck with that. I know, that's <laughs> what she said. Why don't we play this game where we say three things? Okay. Okay. Two truths and one lie. I worked as a dental assistant. I worked as a hairdresser cutting children's hair, and I worked as a receptionist at the Waldorf. Those are all truths! I don't think Kathy knows much about rules. So lastly, can I redo two truths and a lie? Please, because people were confused, and you did two lies and one truth. I got confused. <laughs> I think I was just nervous. Okay, I worked at the Waldorf Astoria in New York in the banquet department, planning parties. I worked at Perry's Pizza and had a blast. And then I kidnapped a baby that I babysat. <laughs> well, first of all, you, you would do that last one. <laughs> but that, yes, that is true. You worked at Perry's Pizza. I still remember your... Kyle, the burgundy cords. Not the burgundy, and it was the check. The little check. Why do I remember that uniform so well? I was so proud of it. And what, Next I, to Kentucky to, Fried Chicken. I'm naked. She got in my bed with me, and I was like, no. And then I'm hearing chips rattle, crumpling. I'm going to go to bed in one minute. So the fans went crazy over you coming into my bed at 1 in the morning with your Red Bull and your chips. Mm -hmm. So 
why don't you share with us, what is your usual 1 a.m. snack if you're up and about? Kathy! What? Are you out of your mind? What is this? A Red Bull. I'm not a night person that goes in, into the refrigerator. After dinner, I'm fine. I'm not a big dessert person. I would say for like the last eight or nine months, I get hungry and I'll start to think of something. Well, so do you normally drink Red Bull at 1 a.m.? Because I, if we need to I talk don't, if that's I the case. I didn't wear my glasses, look into the refrigerator. I just knew not, to, I d wouldn't take wine. I just assumed it was that was the only other a choice fruit around there. Or something. <laughs> right. Everything else was Coca Cola, 7 Up, root beer. Uh, so I thought this but, is but some kind of But then you're up all drink. night, and then you're too tired in the morning. You, I mean, that's like, you know. I don't uh, normally do that. <laughs> no, it was funny because the <laughs> next day, you, you were up from the Red Bull, and then we went out, and you were asleep. You're like, leave me alone. I don't even remember saying that. So funny. We're going to go ride our bikes. You want to stay here and rest? We'll be back in a little bit. Leave me alone. I cannot believe you sleep with that thing on your face. Okay, love you, bye.